Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another 90 minutes of Patea. And today, this one is gonna be way off the radar. Uh, I'm gonna take you to a place that is literally just, uh, well, wait till you see it guys, it really is something different. And uh, right now I'm up here at the top of Padia Klang. Uh, it's a busy day actually, it's nice. And uh, there's lots of activity, lots of people moving around. And uh, I'll just spin the camera and show you. There you go, have a look at this, so up here, there we are. We're at uh, top of Padia Klang. And if you go down that road there, see where that young lad's running towards us. Don't worry, he's not coming to watch me. He's going to get on the bus. The bus is about to leave. Uh, but if you go down there, that takes you into central Pattaya. And uh, here is the Pattaya Pattaya Glang sign. All right. So let's go head up to this place. Like I say, I don't think many of you have been there. Those of you who have been, 100%, uh, those of you that have been there before, you'll recognize it and you'll remember it. It's very, very different. And uh, if you take your if you take your time, misses up there, yeah, be prepared for some interesting reactions from her. All right, let's head off and let's see what today brings on our 90 minutes from Patea series. Okay, so we're here, and uh, where have I brought you? Wat Sen Suk, and it's all about the good and the bad, and if you was to uh, disrespect Buddha or break his rules, this is what will happen to you. And uh, trust me, this is very, very uh, different. It's very enlightening, and also it's very graphic. So uh, let me take you inside, let me show you this place. Uh, like I say, you probably won't ever come here, to be fair, but at least I can show you what it's about. And uh, these people are wondering, what on earth is he talking about? Stood there in the middle of the place holding the camera. <laughs> anyway, right, let's spin the camera around. So in order to get here, if you look on the map now, you'll see exactly where we are. And basically, it's about, uh, I think it's about 51 kilometers outside of the city. But, but, it really is a fun thing to come up and see and just to understand and see what they talk about. That fellow, you're, you're chilling out down there, mate. Yeah, you okay? All right. And, uh, oh, look at the old coconut ice cream. I'll be getting one of them before I go home. Uh, right, so, basically what this place is about. I'm only pausing, I'm trying to find my key. Where's my bloody keys? Oh, the keys have been bugging me, they go. Oh yeah, I got them in there, that's cool. So in here, this depicts all the different things. Well, you'll see it as we walk around. And the nice thing about this is there's uh, English as well as Thai, so you don't have to uh, understand the Thai. All of the signs here, they will provide you with in English. Now I'm here very early. I'm here early simply because later on it gets extremely busy. It really does. So, why have I bought you here? <laughs> well, you'll see in a minute. I came here about, oh, must have been a good oh, four or five years ago. And I was amazed at these, uh, at these statues. So like for here, like this is Siddhartha's birthday, Queen Siddhartha, the Buddha's mother gave birth to a baby prince. And uh, it goes on to talk about, uh, what's that tree? Diptera coparsia, oh, tree in the Lumpini Park. And that baby took seven steps. And each step there was a lotus laying under his feet. And he was delivered his words, I'm the great in the world. There you are, there he is. He's pushing out his uh, steps. But don't worry, don't, don't uh, hang in there guys, hang in there. Because you're going to see all the torture in a minute. You're going to see how they torture people. Yeah, I'm not joking. That's why I've come up here. But like I say, you know, here yeah, look, cutting the top knot, Prince Siddhartha used his sword to cut his top knot by setting a vow to take a life as an aesthetic at the bank of the... Why have I come up here? I can't even read it. Ever. Anyway, do you see what I mean? I can't read off these things. They're too many long words. But they, they go up here in a minute, you'll see some of these. Have a look at some of these. They are crazy. But it's interesting, you know, just come up and have a wander around. You know, a lot of you guys say to me, ah, oh, I'm bored, uh, hang on. Oh, we are. The first sermon, the Lord Buddha delivered this course of the foundation of righteousness to the five ascetics by pointing out the bad result of torturing and the bad result of getting involved with sexual intercourse and for expounding the four noble truths and the noble eightfold paths. You crack on, boys. 
But it's nice, you know, a lot of people say to me, oh, you know, I want to come away for the day and don't know where to go. And You can get a bolt taxi. Uh, I looked at the bolt taxi. You can get a bolt taxi fr from where you are in the city centre up to here for 400 baht, pennies, nothing. So, here we go. Now we're getting into it. Look at this. <laughs> How is this? What is this all about? Look at those big statues up there. So, each one says here, ones who get involved with the sexual intercourse with the unpermitted person are punished in hell. They are named as the spirits of chickens. And, uh, what's this one? Ones who exploit and suffer the others are unpunished in hell. They are named Astine spirits of the dogs. Okay. Oh my lord. <laughs> I dread to think what this is. Uh, the ones who take a corporate, oh, I can't read it, finish the hell are named as the spirits of the pig. All right. Who's been here? Have you ever, has anyone who's watching this actually been here? Uh, what's this one? Uh, okay, so it's Rev Reverend uh, Malaya, the Lord Buddha, uh, disciple, went to visit the underworld of the dead. The ruler of the kingdom of the dead and the hell keeper looked up to the list of the deads and then sent ones who did good to heaven and the ones who did bad to hell. Where are you heading, guys? Left or right? I'm not going to read every one, but you, but you see what I'm saying? Each of these, each of these statues that they've got a different head. Spirit of the deers, these are ones, so who destroy the wilderness are punished in hell. They are named as the spirits of the deers. So if you're cutting the grass or chopping down trees, that's what you're gonna look like. Uh, oh, here we are. The, these uh, ones who sell the habit, performs drugs, are punished in hell. They are named as the spirit of the cows. Ooh. And I don't know, how, how do they get these, uh, uh, what's this one? Oh, if you steal fish, then you're going to be a fish. Right, before I look, let's have a look. What's that? That's, a, that's an animal. I'm going to give a cruelty to animals. Let's try. I have no idea. What's force others to serve, perform, or punish. Ones who force at the others' services, performed or punished in hell, and they are named the spirit of the tiger. Don't understand that. Turtle. He looks like busting out the old ninja turtles. Uh, what are you got to do wrong here? Uh, undermine others. If you undermine others, you're a turtle. Jesus Christ, at the size of these ends. Flipping hell. Put it into perspective. There you go. <laughs> um, ones who are jealous of others are punished in hell. They are named the spirit of the rabbits. So if you're a jealous person, you're a rabbit. Have I named you yet? <laughs> uh, instigate the others to have a brawl are punished in hell. They are named the spirit of the ducks chicken uh no snakes sorry um ones who are employed to put fire on others properties are punished now so if you put fire so you set fire at someone's place that's what you're going to be the spirit of a snake uh ones who are aesthetics being dishonest to their duties are punished they are no spirit of the toads oh my lord here we go now now we're getting to the interesting bit i mean look at these <laughs> <laughs> who's been here? Come on, who's been here? Admit it. Go on, own up. Who's going to come here? <laughs> oh, dear. I, I, I'd imagine probably most of you have switched off by now. Uh, the ones who violate the first one of the five precepts, killing and the mind, without them having loving kindness, will receive the results of bad action the hell as shown in this picture. Yeah, you can read it for yourself there. Just pause the video if you want to read any of these. All right. Up your neck. He don't look best pleased, does he? This one is now. What's all these? Oh my lord, look, there's a bloody great saw here. Jesus. He looks like he means business. So this one. Ones who violate the second one of the five precepts, stealing, cheating, or destroying to others properties, receive the result of the bad action shown. So if you steal someone's property, then they're cutting off. And I don't know, I'm obviously I'm 
I'm just mucking around today, but I don't actually know. Do, did they do this back in the day? The penalty for killing husband who as good as a father. Okay, there you are. So if you kill your husband, that's what's going to happen to you. Uh, oh, I don't even want to know what that one is. Oh, my Lord. He's climbing up the tree. He's got blood on his bum. They're stabbing him. Oh, what's this one then? Hang on. Ones who violate the third one of the five precepts infringing the sexual intercourse being paramount with the others, wives or husbands receive the results of the bad action as shown in this picture. Flipping out, someone's trying to kill me. Not kill me, call me. <laughs> Hang on. All right, let me just uh, turn that down. You don't want to be doing that. He's even got a few dogs after him as well. Okay. Uh, what's this one? Sexual misconduct to the crime of raping. Well, yep, yeah, you deserve that. It's a bit, uh, a bit forlorn, isn't it? Could you do something like this back in your own countries? I don't know if we'd get away with this. Cheating and overreach, gonna peck your eyes out. I don't know if you could do that. Could you actually do that? Could, do you think they could uh, put something like this on display back in your own country? The penalty for dishonest to the duty. I don't know. I can't imagine we put this in London. Surely not. Oh, let's see if you um, let's see if you go and have a um, abortion. <laughs> you know, I came in here with all good intentions. This will be quite interesting. It's quite graphic and. Uh, What's this one for? There's religion, there will be been a tree growing in the future. Would. Doesn't really stay on that one, to be fair. No idea. I don't think I'll be bringing my young kid to see this, to be fair. Each to their own. But uh, I wouldn't be doing that. Can you imagine the questions they'd ask you? Mum, Dad, why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? I mean, I'm talking your way out of that. Um, Reverend Balea went to the netherworld to save all the hell beans from the sin and came back to tell their relatives to make merit in order to donate the offerings dedicated to the deceased. Okay. Uh, oh, some cauldrons going on there. What's that one about? Can't be bringing your kid in here, surely. So what does it say? Uh, it says, uh, ones who violate the fifth of the five precepts. Drinking the intoxics until not to control. Oh, okay, if you get drunk. There's a lot of you going to be here, look. There's a lot of you boys. Get that down your throat, son. Keep going. He reminds me of uh, quite a few lads I see early mornings when I'm, when I'm riding around. I know quite a few of you that will be there. Right, what's this one? I mean, you know, like I was saying, it's very graphic. Chopping your hand, it's got to be stealing. Let's have a guess at that. It's got to be stealing. Uh, commit the bad actions snatching and stealing whatever small they are yeah so if you get caught stealing they're going to chop your hands off wow I just wouldn't be bringing my kids no disrespect to the parents it's each of you know, you know, their own would you bring your children here really I don't know um, ones who undermine Buddhism will be the departed spirits after their death as shown in this picture okay uh, what's this one? This person is for people who kill animals with poisons will be departed spirits as shown in this one. So, there we go. What's he feeding him? So, if you uh, kill animals, that's what awaits you. Very, very graphic. Okay, what's this one? I'm sure you couldn't do this back in the... You couldn't put on something like this back in England. I'm sure you can't. Right, so they got long tongues, so what's that about? Ones who live without the clemency and donation and not to preserve the five precepts and not to know bad or good action will be departed spirits after their death as shown like this. Okay, oh, I get it. Right, so if you talk bad, they're going to pull your tongue out. You don't look too good, mate. You've had better days. Wow. It's only small, this place. To be honest with you, I would say... Oh, would you, would it, is it worth you coming up here? In all truthfully, probably not. It's a long way to come for just what is a, effectively like a 10, 15 minute walk around. 
Uh, ones who get involved with partaking the intoxicants and mistake bad for good will be the departed spirits. All right, there you are. He's got a set of eyes like Jimmy. <laughs> sorry. I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. I know. I have a tip. Uh, right, this one. The penalty for hurting parents, teachers, drinking alcohol and do not pray. His prayer will become the devil when they die. All right, so you've got to do your, your, your prayers. Oh, this place, wow. We're nearly at the end now. That's if you're still with me. I'm probably talking to myself. And I wonder how they um, come up with the actual design of the statue. It's all well and good, you know, I'm having a laugh about it and we're talking about it, but who actually depicts the design? And then what do they do? They must draw it out and give it to the sculptors. Right, we've done all this. So I think we've done it now. Yep, there we are, look. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess, I don't know, would you go back in history? Is this something in history? I know, obviously, it's to do with Buddha, so I guess it has to be. Uh, well, oh, hello, there's, he's got a shrimp on his head. What's he done wrong? Um, who gets involved with the habit of performing drugs and the intoxicants are punished by the bell they are named as the Crustaceans. Oh. Well, I suppose if one thing, it's a way of putting you off doing stuff, isn't it? If they believe in this and realise that's what's going to happen to you. Uh, the ones who abandon the Jews because of gambling are punished in hell. They are named the spirit of the horses. That's an irony, isn't it? You, you're going to be uh, you're going to be punished because you're gambling. So they're now going to stick a horse's head on you, which horses are renowned for gambling on because they do, obviously do the horse racing. A bit weird. Uh, crocodile here. Uh, hooligans who scrutinise scrutinising the others are punished. They are named the spirits. Okay, so if you're a hooligan, there you go, all you football boys, be prepared. Look at that. That's massive, isn't it? It's got to be about, oh, it's got to be at least 15 foot tall. Uh, this one, the goat. Ones who destroy the plants and the beaches. Oh, the her uh, herbs, sorry. Herbs, what's that word? H-E-A or, or herbs, I mean, yeah. One who destroy the plants and the herbs being useful to the human being are punished in the, in the bell, in hell. They are named the spirit of the goat. Again, don't goats feed off of uh, the grass? Mm. And the last one, and then we'll, we'll head off out. Ones who destroy the reserve wildness, wilderness, sorry, wilderness, are punished to the bell, are punished in hell. Kick said bell, because they keep putting, the, it looks like bell, doesn't it? Look, see, when you look at that quickly, it looks like bell. They're, they're named the spirits of the elephants. And the last one, ones who steal the other's properties are punished in hell. They are named as the spirit of that monkey. All right, there you go, guys. Uh, let's just have a wander back out. Well, if nothing else, I suppose you've seen something that in all likelihood you're probably not likely to come up and see. I, would, I wouldn't recommend. Well, I, I don't know. There's something to do, something different. Like I said, I'm doing my 90 minutes. Let me spin this around. Like I say, guys, I'm doing my 90 minutes from Patea. Um, I've covered a few beaches and stuff, so I'm just trying to find random stuff that's different. And if nothing else, it gives you something to watch while you have a cup of tea during your break when you're at work. And uh, at least now you can tick this place as one of the places not to go. But, uh, but it, you know, it's different. It's different. And they've still got big temples now over there. See over there? But uh, I think we're done. I jumped on my big bike to get out here because, it's like I say, it's 50 kilometres away. And the wind, oh, the wind today coming up the main road. If you want to get a taxi, like I say, 400 baht. Truthfully, having just done this video now, truthfully, I would probably say, unless you're coming up here for other reasons, maybe you're staying overnight, you're going to go and see some family or friends with your missus, or you know, you're just exploring, you're going to stay a night. There's a bit of nightlife area up here, not a lot. Um, probably not worth it, to be honest, sadly. But at least I've shown you. Right, let's go back out to my bike, and then we're done. And when you walk through the door, if you do come up, uh, the old photographers at the end there, snapping away, getting your photos. Okay. You don't want to be looking at me. Oh, well, what's going on in there? Oh, there's there. There you go. Pay no respect. But, um, you know my style. I like to make things a little bit light-hearted, but there is a serious side to this. 
you know, this is people's beliefs. This is uh, what they believe in and they think. And, uh, you know, fair play to them. Right, I'm going to get one of these uh, coconuts. One second, guys. Over here. Can I have a, a coconut, please? I want. Oh, dear, I got. That looks nice, doesn't it? Oh. Look at these boys. Let's see how we make this look. Nice on a hot day. Yeah, so put the peanuts on. In time we call peanuts tour. Now you're going to get the condensed milk. <laughs> Just in case I wasn't fat enough. There we are. Look at that, lovely. Looking good. In fact, I'm going to go and sit over there and eat it. Cup and cup. Right. I'm going to take this bad boy over here. Eat that and we're done. Let me finish off and then I'm going to stuff my face. Right. So there we are, guys. That's it. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed today. If nothing else, it's been something different. And um, I'm going to finish off. Look at it, it's beautiful. Like I say, something different, but uh, we'll keep doing the series and I'll keep bringing different stuff to you. If there are any places you want, drop me an email, guys, 247 at gmail.com. I'll happily do the best I can for you. Um, so if there's any areas you do want. Did you hear that then? Let me film it. La Zada. I'm in the middle of finishing my video. What are you doing? Right, there we are. So, as always, guys, please remember, hit the subscribe button. And also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, have a look on Discord. There's loads and loads of information on there. Totally free of charge. It really is a great platform. If you'd like to support the channel, uh, there's a link in the description below. And have a look at our new website, www.buzzingpataya.com. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. <laughs>